Okay, welcome to this video where I'm going to quickly go through a demonstration of the method for the osmosis practical. So this practical involves uh, pieces of potato which are incubated in sucrose solution for one hour um, and in this demonstration we will see the effect of that incubation on the mass of the potato which will give an indicator of the presence of osmosis. So the first thing to do in terms of the practical is to produce even sized pieces of potato. You can do that using a corer, or in this case I don't have the corer, instead I'm just using a knife and ruler to measure out one centimetre squares. So I've cut the end off already. The process here would be to measure one centimetre and mark that using the knife. And then from there, get an even parallel slice. Again, we can slice that, then measure get another even one centimeter slice and now three pieces that are one centimeter cube because we're looking at the change in mass in these we need to weigh them first but we want to make sure that the outside is dry so the wetness on the outside doesn't add to the mass. So just pat them dry. And then on the scale here, checking that it's been zeroed, we can then place those pieces on there. Wait for that to settle and then record the mass 3.2223 grams. These are then transferred into a test tube while we prepare the sucrose solution. So for the sucrose solution, we will be measuring out exactly 10 milliliters of 0.8 molar sucrose solution for this demonstration. You may be using different concentrations of sucrose solution in your experiment. First of all, just transfer from the stock to a beaker. And then from there, I'll measure 10 milliliters. A pipette is useful for accurate measurement. milliliters is then transferred to the test tube and we begin the timer. At this point it might be useful just to stir that to make sure that the solution is evenly distributed and if you're controlling the temperature you can take the temperature of that solution before, during and after the incubation period and check that it's staying stable. So while that's incubating, osmosis will be happening. Depending on the relative concentrations of the, of the solution outside and the solution inside the cells, osmosis, the transfer of water, will happen into or out of those cells. Let's assume that's been going for an hour now and we'll check back on one that I prepared earlier. At the end of the incubation, you remove the sucrose solution. This can be poured down the sink, making sure that you don't pour down your pieces. You can then tip those out. Dry them as before, making sure not to press too hard to squeeze out any liquid. Checking that the scale is re-zeroed, we weigh those again. Two point eight three grams. So we can see that during that incubation, there was a loss of mass of the three potato pieces. This indicates that water would have travelled out of the cells during osmosis. Thank you.